I'm not 100% ready for a proposal. I'm not 100% ready to move in together. I think we have more to explore. I mean, I honestly don't feel good right now. You've never brought up any of these doubts before. Like, you've never ever have made me feel unsure about our relationship until this very moment. Now that the end is here and you're being faced with a decision, all of a sudden, you're backing out. I have had bad experiences in the past because I didn't say exactly what I was feeling. So are you saying it now? I'm trying, I'm trying to be just as open and transparent as possible. You said you needed your space tonight, so go get your space. Like honestly, go, like, I need my space too. And I'm gonna stay here. I wanna tell you everything that go I'm ahead. feeling and... You just can't, like, cause we're just going in circles right now. You know, you need that space and go. All right. I just don't understand. Why were you leading me on to believe we had this fairy tale? Brutal, man. What's the matter? Listen, I'm I know gonna, what's the matter. No, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna... No, I don't want you to go. I, Trust me. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want you to go. No, I don't want to be here. You... Listen. Listen, listen. Do you want... Jared, right. Jared, Jared, listen to me. Maybe you should. Jared. <laughs> There's no one here for me, and then to see you with someone, I can't do it both. I can't do both things. But there are more guys coming. No. I could be with somebody else, but I can't be with not someone else. I need to be with someone. I can't do it. I didn't think Caleb was going to hurt me like this. She told me she would never, ever go out with you. Kayla ruined everything, and she's a backstabbing whore of a friend. You know that I, the feelings have never disappeared. You know I'm never okay. But like, I knew this would happen. I just knew it. So now you're mad at me. No, I'm just frustrated at the situation. It's just, I'm sorry. I've never felt this for anyone the way I feel for you. You know, I just, I've never felt that way. So it's hard to let it go. I always had a hope and I should never have had it. And it's just because like, it's just, how am I supposed to find another you? This sucks, man. This just sucks. So, clearly something went wrong yesterday. Yeah. Last night. What? I feel like when we were talking about being exclusive, I got a sense of it being, not because we genuinely wanted to, but because we felt like we had to. You think that's how I feel? Or is that how you feel? There's a part of me that like, obviously loves you. And I've known that for a while. But I don't know what kind of love it is. And I don't know if it's in love. I think there's just a lot we haven't talked about. And a lot we haven't been able to like, discover. That's, that's, that's an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's an excuse. The truth is, you don't know how you feel about me. You found so many different excuses. We're looking for so many excuses not to be with you. You don't think I'm scared to death that I'm like, this is the wrong thing right now? You don't think I'm like freaked out that I'm like, not making the right choice right now? We're just not in the same place. That's what I've been scared about this entire time. I never wanted you to go on a date with Leo. I was pissed that you kissed John. Why am I hearing about this for the first time now? The fact that you're not happy about where we're at after everything is really just the answer. But I almost feel like you felt the same way. No. I was happy last night. <sighs> yeah. I think right now the only reason why I wanted to be here was because of you. I don't, I'm not, I'm not staying. That's it. I came into this not expecting what we had from day one. I came into this open-minded, and then I saw you, I was like, this is why I'm here. I'm only 
only being honest with you and I'm being honest with myself when I tell you when, when Brett walked in, I got this feeling of like, I questioned myself. Why would I feel a certain way? I don't even know the guy, but something made me- But you're me... willing to throw it all away just on a guy that walked in no, based on I physical think, attraction. And I haven't talked to you about things that I'm unsure about with you and I. I wish that I was able to talk to you about this stuff before Brett came in. I'm just hurt. I'm heartbroken. I know you are. I'm I know crushed. You are. I'm... Like I, I'm blindsided. Like I didn't think this was gonna happen this way. You're gonna watch this. <laughs> and you're gonna hear the things that I've said about you. <laughs> I mean it's just <laughs> You know, there's other ways of, of how you could have went about that. And regardless of what I said to you without microphones or whatever. I can't find my feelings. I can't find my emotions. <laughs> I've chosen to remove myself from here. <laughs> I'm leaving. Should I be nervous? No. No. Okay. Are you breaking up with me? <laughs> <laughs> I told Kirk last night that I think I found my person. And I think it's insane that this happened, but I also think it's like just fate. And I'm, I'm so lucky. Like, I'm the luckiest freaking girl in the world. You know, like, before we came here, like, we thought, <clears throat> like, you're just gonna go to, like, adult summer camp and you're gonna have, like, a summer fling and, you know, you're gonna, like, go home and wipe your hands clean of all of this. But, like, I fell, you know? And, and you made me feel, which caught me really off guard. Mm -hmm. But, like over, you know, the last couple of weeks, um, we've been talking about like the future, like sort of what's next. Uh, we've talked about like going to Zach's reception. Um, you potentially be willing to move, uh, all those things. Um, and it's caused me to, you know, really like take a hard look. Like the conversations we've had about where this is going and I've seen your face light up and I'm just not sure that I'm there right now. Okay. I'm gonna go home. I, I, well, I still, I still would like to talk about some of this. I don't want to do this. Because I'm having doubts doesn't discredit like anything I, that we've like, like that we've been going through. Are you kidding me right now? I, I'm gonna go Please home. Don't. No, I have to go home. I can't no, do no, this with we... you. No, I can't do this. What do you mean? I can't. Like, I can't have this conversation. I, ha I'm, I, no, I want to have this conversation. You know that I run and I'm running. Please don't. And run. I don't. I don't. I don't want to have this conversation. I want to go home. Can we just talk like, no, a little more about Kirk, it? No, Kirk, I can't. Why? Because you. I feel like you just tricked me. I haven't tricked you at all. Not at all. I... How long have you been feeling like this? Maybe like. Like the last week or so, I was. Just listen, just listen. Oh my god! Just sit down, please. No, I can't. Please sit down. Please, 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 please don't. Please, just sit down. I don't want to. I'm, I'm not letting please, you walk please, away. I, you need to hear what I have to me. say. Please don't touch me. <laughs> Honestly, I wanted this to work. Carly, please. No, leave me alone. just happened.